guys, Cube Hamster here with a new video. I am in the latest snapshot being 13w2b and I've been having a lot of fun with the new uh, comparators and I made something very interesting. Uh, I think most of you guys have already figured out or learned or seen somewhere that you can subtract signal strengths or analog signals with uh, the comparators. Uh, and that would allow you to make uh, yeah, sort of a, a subtractor. But I was wondering if it was actually possible to use the comparator to make a, a decimal adder. So uh, uh, a machine that would add analog signals and turn them into, into numbers. And it uh, turns out that you, uh, that you can. So that's what you see here. The, this machine basically adds the bottom two numbers. Uh, so I'm adding 774,441 uh, to 402,983. And you can see the result up there. And um, yeah, I can change these numbers. So at, at the moment, the input is here. I mean, this is just a proof of concept. It's not really something extremely practical or anything like that. But uh, basically what you do, you have is uh, uh, the numbers and um, it, they go, I've got levers here and they go from zero to five to nine. So say I want to uh, add, make this the number two, then I would have the number two here. And as you can see, uh, two, four, six. And obviously it has a, a carry, a, a carry bit. Uh, you actually already see it here. So I'm adding, there's a lot of carries actually. Um, Let's see if I can uh, carry a signal from this one to there. So whenever you add two numbers and they are 10 or higher, obviously uh, it's gonna continue on on the next digit. So I've got one and three now, and let's turn the one into um, an eight. So now we're adding eight and three, and eight and three is 11. So you get a one, and then one of them carries on to the next one, and this would be 12, but now it would actually be 13 and that carries on to the next one and, and this one actually carries on to the next one as well and that's how we get uh, our final result um, now this looks rather big but you have to see it in sort of comparison so i've got here a stripped down version as you can see the uh, displays which i borrowed from minecraft chris i'll put a link in the description to uh, to them because they are extremely useful with the new redstone update um, but basically uh, this is all it is so we have two inputs and uh, yeah that's actually not necessary but we got two inputs so we got uh, for the top number and for the other number which you're adding um, the green line is the uh, output and I'm I've got that hooked up to a pistonless uh, red coder and then the orange circuit you see here that's the uh, the carry uh, which you can hook up to the next one. So this entire thing is just is very tileable. You can just put them next to each other without having to make any sort of adjustments. Uh, meaning that uh, I say I wanted to add, uh, you know, millions instead of uh, 100,000 big numbers. I would just have to copy paste this one next to the other one and then uh, um, wire it up to the carry of the previous one. And then I'd, I'd have my, uh, yeah, my adjusted um, adder. And in perspective, like what I have now, if you wanted to do that with a binary adder, uh, you would need roughly a 64 adder, I think, something like that. And I mean, the 64 adder itself is probably not going to be much bigger than this. I could be wrong, um, but uh, binary signals have to be decoded to be useful. And the decoder for a 64-bit adder would pro probably be something like 900 by 900 by 900. And now there's probably going to be a couple people commenting, oh, you're wrong. But I am fairly sure that doing this with decimal is a lot more compact than, than doing this with binary. Um, so yeah, I will be doing another video in the near future uh, showing more on the comparator because I discovered, like working on this has been an eye opener for me. I discovered so many incredibly useful things you could do with, uh, with the new comparator. Um, I also found a lot of very nasty piston box, one in particular that really annoyed the crap out of me. Um, but uh, yeah, for the most part, I think uh, disregarding the uh, the change to block update, this redstone update is going, uh, yes, yeah, it's, it's proving to be a lot of fun to me. 
and um, yeah I suggest you guys check into the new components as well because they are really awesome you we really have to start thinking more in in analog in uh, in comparison to uh, to other stuff so I'm just gonna because uh, I like to show a bit a bit more so I'm just gonna change change the number a bit showing that I'm not messing with you I always, I never mess with you like I've gone I don't think I've ever shown anything like in a video that didn't work and said that it worked. Like this works. It's 100% reliable. It doesn't derp. It, it just works. Uh, so yeah. Uh, like always, uh, first of all, thanks for watching. And uh, yeah, if you're new to my channel, sure to subscribe and check out my other videos if you want to see more stuff and uh, yeah if you enjoyed this video don't hesitate to leave a like because that really helps out to spread the word uh, because i really want people to uh, yeah the more look to give uh, to give the analog way of thinking uh, more look because i think binary now with the new comparators is going to go a bit into the background especially with the easy way of decoding uh, analog signals so it's very useful i'm definitely going to do uh, more messing with this and uh, yeah Thanks for watching, and uh, I'll see you all later. Bye-bye.